plan surgery all got cancelled so it gave us some extra me and my colleagues were worried at a certain time that maybe at some point there would be a shortage in material so we were trying to look for alternatives uh, one of my colleagues in holland already told me they were using some masks like this so i started looking online and i bought one then i wondered what we should adapt or uh, change to make it usable in the hospital so the concern was to take off the snorkel and have some extra protection instead so these filters that we already used in the hospital for the normal use of the ventilation machines for the patients uh, we wanted to connect them but that was the problem the link between the filter and the mask I said maybe if you have time later we can design a mask that's less heavy to wear yeah, 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 it will be yeah. less sweaty. But that I think is that once, once we put... Because the Spanish surgeon was asking if you needed to change this. Yes, but I think it's not necessary because if you wear it... More. Yeah, but I think actually there is a lot of uh, like huge company yeah. that then can produce it. I think the first step, the most important... So I uh, contacted one of my friends I used to study with, who is an engineer. And he referred me to take uh, contact with Albert, who was working on already a solution. So we were actually thinking the same. And he came up with this um, prototype. Uh, we gave each other feedback. I told him what we would use in the hospital, what we actually needed. And then he could work on it. And we soon we started to try this out. Uh, the mask is quite comfortable uh, for half an hour, maybe an hour. But then it gets a bit heavy and warm. But it's perfect to have an alternative if, if there might be a shortage in the in the real masks that we are using now. The main advantage of 3D printing, although it's uh, not adapted for mass production and uh, for um, uh, really putting it in hospital, is that it's very, very fast. So between my design and having the first part to test, I could just have like two, three hours and I could directly see if it was working or not. So that's why we could go very, very fast. And from the first talk we had to the, the really usable prototype, it was really a few hours and a few days so that the whole hospital could test uh, the solution. It's about 10, 10 The bad thing is that 3D printing, especially with this type of technology, uh, they are not suitable for medical environment. So you cannot disinfect them, you cannot clean them, and there is very little knowledge whether uh, this type of material will react in a medical environment. So the solution there is really to go with a traditional uh, manufacturing, which is in this case uh, injection molding, and we already are now producing, so I will get the parts tomorrow, um, injection molding of this part with also medical plastic and the medical process. So we're working on uh, rapid manufacturable uh, ventilators for the COVID-19 patients and we are trying to build uh, a ventilator that uses components outside the medical sector. Uh, there is a lot of pressure on the medical sector so we try to source uh, as most possible components from for example automotive or other sectors and uh, the parts we are uh, making ourselves uh, we try to use 
uh, production techniques like laser cutting so it can go fast and it's simple.